Well, welcome back to the adventures of Terwinkle, the Gnome Mage. Well, good morning, Terwinkle. Salutation. Hopefully you slept well. Uh, I know we have a lot to do do today, don't we? Indubitably. Okay. Well, we'd better get to it then. So we've already got a quest here, and let's take a look and review for those of you who don't know. We'll take a look here. It says uh, we have to go back to Gobel or Quarry and find Mathel rust wrench um, because he's going to have a flying machine that'll take us to the Iron Forge airfield where the dark dark iron dwarves are planning an attack. So let's go ahead and grab uh, minion for the road trip back here. There is Lumen Christi. You see a little asterisk by their name there. That means that they are not actually part of the server, but they're here because uh, their server doesn't have room for them, I guess. This is a, an easier place for them to quest. It, it sent them here uh, to do the quests in this area. So they're... It, uh, you know, it makes it easier for them to gather up materials and whatnot. Uh, the quests aren't as hogged. Their server is a little too busy for them, I guess. So they're here in uh, Worm Rest Accord. Well, we're going to head on back. I think we're heading the right way. I'm pretty sure we are. Yep. Back to Goldblower Quarry. So we can get on some sort of flying machine. Get back to the uh, Iron Forge airfield. See what we can do to help protect uh, the area there. So we'll just run on back here to the quarry. And we do have some mail. Available to us. Oh, and here comes uh, another frost mage. Ooh, give them a bow. Is there a frost mage? Nice little wave. And that's uh, Mathis, Mathesity, patient. He's got a little water element to there. He has his own minion. <laughs> give us a little wave. All right, we'll continue on. Nice, and again, it looked like uh, someone again, not from Warm, warm Rest Accord, but from another server. Pretty sure that's what the uh, little asterisk by their name means. And a little better outfit, which I think he had uh, some of the Honor Valor, or not Valor gear, or Honor gear, but what is that? Um, oh shoot, I can't think of the name of it. Think of the name of it. All right, where are you, Mr. Rust Wrench? Is this him over here? Yeah, that is him up there. And that is the flying machine. I'm assuming. Okay, thank you for coming on the trip, Minion, protecting me as we went along. I'm sure, I'll be getting you back here as soon as I. Oh boy. Okay, Mr. Rust Ranch. You look like the most sturdy Hi, machines. How are you? Hello. I need Can a I ride. Help you? Yes. Oh, Commander Stonebreaker. How do I. Do I just hop in it? Maybe I just hop in it. Yep, I'm in it. Oh. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, hopefully it's on autopilot. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Flying up to the airfield here. Oh boy, it looks like uh, there's some fighting going on already down here. It might be uh, a little too late. Looks like planes are on fire and everything else. Let's see if we can bring this thing in for a landing turn, Winkle. Oh, look, they had griffins. Could have flown a griffin in. Uh, let's talk to the griffin master. Hello. It's a mountaineer. Looks like there is a 
my Griffin mask appears here. Chartage flights to Goldblatt Quarry. Uh, Rick's a quick wrench. Looks like will fly you back if you need. Let's get Minion back here. Didn't miss much Minion. It was a pretty smooth flight, all in all, I must say. Looks like we're heading in the right direction here. Look at the map. Yeah, we're heading in the right direction. There he is. Commander Stonebreaker. That'd be good here, maybe, don't. You got my attention. Get to the airfield. Thank goodness you're here, Terminal. The airfield's been attacked by dark irons, and I don't think we can hold out much longer. Boy, here we go. The Dark Iron attack took us by surprise. Their saboteurs managed to damage most of our aircraft, steam tanks, and supplies. We were only able to get a few of our bombers airborne. Every technician, recruit, and guard I can spare, scrambling to get the others repaired and flight ready. Our infantry can only hold out for so long. Take this equipment and help extinguish the burning bombers. So our quest objective here is to use the firefighting equipment, extinguish six fires at Iron Forge Airfield. We will receive three silver, fifty copper, and eight hundred and fifty experience. Off okay. with you. Oh, okay, so we got some. Looks like some tanks of water on our back. Me and Minion are, are on the case here. Let's put out some fires. Let's see. Put out this fire here. Let's try. Sprays. He sprays a sprays a cloud of frost to extinguish fires, and it can be used on the air. Maybe on the airplanes over here. Yeah, there's an airplane right there. Yeah, can we try the tent? Let's try the tent. Let's see. Oh no, that, that did extinguish the fire. Aha, number two. I don't know why, Minion, you can't spray your water jet on these things. Minion, I'm not spraying you. I know you like that feeling. Uh, this, is for the, this is for the airplanes. Not for you, Minion, no. One more fire here should do it. Alright. Let's see if we can put up these boxes over here. You guys need to be working here. You fire right behind you. Oh no. No, it's all out of spray. So we'll go return this. That was easy enough. We got guys just standing around over here. Okay. How are ya? Well done. My men are working hard to get our flying machines and steam tanks back in the flight. Well, I hate to say it, but uh, I saw some guys up there that weren't working really hard. Just kind of standing there. Okay, rally defenders. While our engineers work on getting the bombers ready to fly again, our guards and mountaineers continue to fight the invaders. They've been out there since the incursion began, and without so much as a chance to catch some sleep or have a meal. Ironforge's defenders are among the best on Azeroth, but even they have limits. Take these banners and plant them in the banks of loose snow. Remind the men what they're fighting for and help keep their morale high. So our quest objective here is to plant eight Ironforge banners in the mounds of loose snow throughout the Ironforge airfield. We'll receive three silver, fifty copper, and eight hundred and fifty experience. Watch All your right. back. No problem. So let's go plant some flags here, minion. A little snow cub there, um. and bunny. Boy. Okay. Don't see any loose snow around here? Okay, looks like we're getting into the area. Oh, there's must be that little mound there. Yeah. Here. Let's do. Come over here. Yeah. Ah. That's right, guys. Spike these. 
help him out, Minion. Guys, out. Thing over here. Oh, that guy. That guy followed us. That Lum Luma Christie guy. Hello, guy. <laughs> right. Those are place over here. We can place. Yeah, right over here. Christy guy there. Down over here, maybe there's oh yeah, there's a mound over here. Oh, and there's one over there too. That one here. Let's get that guy, help him. Still over there, minion. Ah, there's minions under attack. That's why. Big guy, leave minion alone. Sorry about that, minion. I didn't even know you could have said something like, hey. I guess. Minion just helping out. Helping out without me, okay? Back. Oh, 
on the way back down the field here. And again, it would be, uh, this kind of stuff will be a lot quicker when we get our, <laughs> our Meccano Strider. About eight more levels. Close to only seven, but, uh, Okay, sir. Done and Great done. To meet you. The men are finding hidden reserves of strength and courage to deal with the dark iron onslaught. The airfield will not fall on our watch. Right. He's striking back. My chief engineer tells me that he's managed to get one of the bombers repaired and airworthy. Take these bombs with you and look for the repaired bomber on the start of the runway. Once you're, once you're airborne. I don't know how to fly. Okay, once you're airborne, use the bombs to do as much damage to the attacking Dark Iron Force as you can. I've heard rumors that they're, they're preparing to deploy a new kind of war golem. Keep your eyes peeled for those golems. Um, excuse me, sir. I was talking here first. Keep your eyes peeled for those golems and make them your highest priorities. So our quest objective here is to board the repaired bomber. Use the Iron Hammer Bomb to kill 30 Dark Iron attackers. You may kill any of the Dark Iron Dwarves or their allies at Iron Forge Airfield. We'll receive three silver, fifty copper pieces, and eight hundred and fifty experience. Same Seems travel. to be the uh, standard. I don't I know, it's kind of rude. You see that minion? He just stood right in front of me. Looks like there's the repaired bomber. I really don't know how to fly. Again, hopefully it's on autopilot. Fortunately, minion, you can't come with me on this trip. Send you home for now. Oh boy. Okay. And up we go. Here we go. Bomb ready. Okay. Let's see here. 30, 30 troops, eh? It does seem like it's on autopilot. Let's see here. Let's see, where do we drop this bomb? I guess anywhere, huh? I don't want to get our own guys, though. We won't get our guys. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Another bomb here. Let's get it ready. Eh. Throw it out there. Another one. Eh. Yeah. Another bomb ready as soon as we come around here. There we go. I don't want to hit our own guys. Let's get that guy. Aha! Another bomb ready. I don't want to get our own guys fighting there. How accurate I could. Oh, oh! There's a big one over there. That looks like I missed him. Okay, we're. Aha! Eh! that on those guys. Oh wow, okay. All done. We're all done. That was easy enough. Way to go, Turwinkle. Nice flying the bomber there. <laughs> like another, a few more bombers are flying. They're dropping their bombs over there. So they must have a few more repaired. Coming in for a landing here. Bring this thing in. Okay, carefully. Okay, I guess I landed it. Uh, just kind of disappeared, but we'll assume we landed it all right. Let's get Minion back. Don't want him to worry. Yeah, we're okay, Minion. Uh, it was on autopilot. We were just chucking the bombs out the window as it flew along. Okay, let's stand over here. Not in front of people. Hint, hint, Mr. Lumen Christie. What's on your mind? Okay, the momentum is starting to shift, Terwinkle. Largely due to your efforts. Now it's time to strike at the Dark Iron leadership. Okay, so we completed that. 
Hey, with you leading the way, we've finally broken the momentum of the Dark Iron attack. General Grimax, the Dark Iron leader, is attempting to rally his troops from the center of their lines on the frozen lake to the south. He stands atop one of their new Dark Iron golems, shouting orders to his men. If he succeeds in rallying them, they still may be able to overpower us. We must prevent that, Turwinkle, destroy the golem guarding him, then kill General Grimax himself. He is the key to our victory. So our quest objective is to kill General Grimax at Ironforge Airfield. You will be able to choose one of these rewards. Oh, good. Oh, nice. An airfield defender's garb. Oh, look at this. Okay. It is an item level robe. It has plus one stamina, plus one intellect. It's definitely an upgrade for us, which is nice. You also could get a tunic of dark leather, Grimax's black breastplate, which is leather, or stone breaker's gauntlets, which are male. Also receive three silver, 50 copper, 850 experience. So, we will accept that see. quest. And let's go see what we can do about this uh, General Grimex. Shall we? Right. Okay, minion. Sounds like he's got a golem with him. So he might... Uh, might be a little harder to beat than most most of the guys that we fought so far. So far up here hasn't been really a challenge at all. Let's take a look at the map. I'm sure we're heading the right direction. We are. Got to keep him from uh, rallying his troops. So slip by the... Just riding along the way here. Clear the... Clear the path. Get warmed up. <laughs> That's right. Oh, there's that guy. Pyromancer. That's right. Oh, the power of Turnwinkle, sir. Where is this general? Oh, there he is. Right our way over there. He is standing on a golem. I think that's the guy we tried to throw the bomb at. Alright. Let's take care of this guy. Let's take care of this guy. Anybody anymore? Okay, <laughs> do do do. Almost there. Yeah, so why we just kind of cruise through these, uh, Quest today, Turwinkle's on a roll. Alright. Well, looks like he's uh, falling asleep here at the, the wheel. Minion, come on, over here, Minion. Oh, that's right, I got my little move thing. Move over here, Minion. There you go. What can I do for you? 
Uh, we've done it. Without your help, Air Iron Airfield would surely be occupied by the enemy, and the Dark Irons would have cleared have a clear road to Iron Forge itself. The Council of Three Hammers must be informed of what happened here. All right, we'll take that. Complete that. Oh, hey, level 13. All right, demanding answers. So, just how did all those iron, Dark Iron Warriors end up here? on the doorstep of Ironforge, on the verge of invading our city. Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, I did find some plans, but that's what brought me up here. Does not Empress... Oh, he did the air quotes, Empress. Empress Moira, a member of our esteemed Council of Three Hammers, rule the Dark Iron? I, you know, again, their politics, I don't know. This cannot have happened without her knowledge and consent. This was no ragtag bag of band band of rebel dwarfs, but a well-organized and fully equipped invasion force. I have prepared a report on the battle for the, for the airfield. Take it to Ironforge, to the high seat, and confront her. Hey, you know, um, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know if I should be the one confronting her. You are the commander, but, uh, okay. So our quest objective here is to take Stonebreaker's report to Moira Therison and Ironforge High Seat will receive 7 silver and 1,050 experience. Well, I can do that, sure. Off with you! Without much uh, experience, I, I thought I saw something in here. I did. Some good, general good guys. It's, uh... I have the finest wares <laughs> in the line. Uh, he doesn't seem to think so. <laughs> okay. So the report here is a detailed account of the Battle of Iron Forge Airfield and highlighting your heroism. Oh, great. Yeah, I'll See definitely you turn that in. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, I was heroic. Yeah. Okay, so how do we get to him to follow us again? Oh, okay, here he comes. Come on, minion. I gotta put on my uh, new rope, though. Let's, let's go ahead and put that on rope. Put that on. Oh, ho, ho. look at that, a white one. New white rope for uh, Torwinkle. Looks nice. Nice new clean white rope. Um, it's definitely a better rope, though I like the look of the other one a little better than this one, but uh, all right. White one is it. White one it is. Kind of look priestly in a way. Close that. Close those. And I guess what we'll do is we'll head to uh, Iron Forge. Let me see. The map. So it has to go over there. I know I saw gates uh, to Iron Forge. I don't know if we can go in there. Can you? If we go take a look. Let's go take a look. Minion, let's see. A little jog over there, shall we? Yeah, level 13. Let's see, that moved our frost bolt up to 102 and a half damage on average. Looks like they're still fighting. They must be just mopping up uh, what's left here. Yeah, see, there's some gates here. Let's see if we can get into Iron Forge this way. Uh, Carissa invited us to join the guild Lies and Slanders. Uh, no, that's not, uh, thank you, Sandra. Uh, but that's not really, uh, Turwinkle's thing. Um, someone is saying something to us, so let's take a peek. Would you like to join Lies and Slander? Uh, you'd make a great recruit, so please accept. Let's say thank you. You will reply. Reply. Thank you. For the kind and generous. Oh, the uh, kind offer. Kind offer.
less. Turnwinkle must journey forth. Alone. Oh, journey. Journey forth alone for now. With only minion to accompany him on his adventures. Again, Moving. nice offer. Okay, yeah, it looks like the gates are barred here, which, because of the fighting, I, I don't blame them. So, let's see, we'll have to maybe take the flight. We'll see if uh, the griffins there can take us directly to Iron Forge. Or if we have to go back to uh, Gobalar Quarry and then to Iron Forge from there. Because again, we can check real quick. Uh, and we're not going to actually finish that quest. We're going to check our mail real quick. Check our auction house, and then we'll have to call it a day. Because Turwinkle's a little tired of all the flying and the the battling here. Even though that that did seem to go pretty quick, uh, we did take care of business uh, rather easily here today. So we'll, uh, yeah, it looks like we're. Uh, no, I don't need on the ground. directions to those. I okay, whoa. Sorry, sorry, minion. I didn't mean to. Okay. <laughs> Guess that automatically sends minion home. Um, Turwinkle has become quite a pilot <laughs> in this episode. How you doing there, Turnwinkle? Hang on. I guess it's kind of like the uh, Griffin Air, just a little noisier. It does pollute a little bit. Um, not quite as graceful as the uh, <laughs> as Griffin Air, but uh, seems to do okay as long as it holds together. Okay, there you are, minion. Uh, we'll go ahead and. Uh, Send you on your way. Thank you for your help. Whoa, whoa. Didn't mean to summon you. Uh, meant to send you home. But thank you for your help today. And we will head on back to uh, Iron Forge. Here they are. And, uh, Off with you. Thank you, sir. Take care of our, our mail. And uh, that should be the end for today. And flying along. Cold is a little better, as you can tell. My voice isn't quite so froggy. And of course it would be getting better as uh, I'll have to return to work here in a couple days. So be that as it may. Had a week off, but had a nice cold, so it kept me from really doing much. Which again is a little disappointing, but uh, that is how it goes. All right, in we go. And into the Great Forge. down with what we have here. We've got uh, Dobby, Ambassador 
Dog Cass. Night of Druid. Okay. Looks like uh, the uh, quest is in here somewhere. The throne room is in here somewhere. Said so next episode though we'll continue on. Take our report there that shows uh, the uh, Moira, Moira, our heroism there at the airfield. Okay, oh boy, look at all the four items that we had in there. Sold. So we have sold the axe for 86 silver. The severing axe of the eagle. We sold five linen cloth. Sold the gypsy sash for six. And we sold the two uh, malachite. Very nice. Sold those things. Let's move on back and we'll sell these other things that we have here. I right, got Zohara, Zohara. Boy, is there anybody here from this realm here? From Warm Rest Accord, and I think everybody I've seen so far is not uh, not from this realm. And thus I'm in another realm. I could be too. Uh, and I failed to mention last time uh, that I am using uh, Auctioneer. Uh, the Auctioneer mod, which is an awesome mod if you do a lot of auctioning. And, uh, I mean, it's just, it's, it takes all the hard work out of, out of, uh, auction house stuff. Looks like, uh, Malshite has dropped actually a little bit in price. Let's see if anybody's selling the short bastard sword of agility. Nobody is, so let's take a look at it here. That's plus two agility. That's what I like to do when it has a, a plus to it. I like to, for every plus, like plus one intelligence or plus one strength, any of those main stats, I add a gold for each one. So that's how I do it anyway. So let's go one gold, 25 silver, oh, 50 copper. And because it's plus two, we'll go two gold, 50, and 75. Let's see if that sells. Pioneer Cloak. And someone is selling one, so we will sell one as well. And that's all we have to put in the auction house for today. Oh, and that the possibility is that we we are actually oh, we are actually in a different realm. How do I see? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go find a, a place to rest, shall we? too many people on worm rest. I don't know. A Thrani. Okay, this looks like a, a uh, an inn. Where we can find a room, maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, Arathoni. Arathai? Arathai. Alright, well, I guess this is where we will stay for the day. So, oh, all too close there. Okay. Well, we uh, went to the Iron Forge airfield, put out some fires, 
We raised the morale of the troops, did a bombing run, threw some bombs at some uh, war golems, killed General Grindax, and uh, we've traveled back here to uh, Ironforge. We have our report that uh, tells the whole thing. They seem to think that uh, Moira should have known about what's going on. In fact, in a way, he kind of uh, implicated in her in the attack. Like, uh, she knew the attack. She planned the attack, maybe. Oh, the dwarven politics. Not sure what's going on there, but... Uh, sounds like she might have been involved in some way. That's what he was saying, anyway. And uh, we also got this new robe. And a little more gold. Let's see where gold's at. 22 gold. And uh, 69 silver, 36 copper. Yet it wasn't really much of a fight at all. We, uh, we breezed through that pretty quickly. So with all that, I guess we'll call it a day, Turnwinkle. And so you'll get to, get to rest a little bit. And uh, so good job, Turnwinkle. Yes. So again, if you like the video, go ahead and click like. If uh, you see something that uh, we could have done better, uh, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, if you think that uh, we did all right, let us know as well. We like to know the good things too. If you like Turnwinkle or you're enjoying the series, just uh, go, us, go ahead and give us a comment. If you'd like us to subscribe, that would be awesome. That keeps you up to date on all of Turnwinkle's adventures. Also on some of my other series, like the Civilization V series that we're doing with the China Civilization. So thank you again for coming and watching. And Turwinkle, I guess we'll see you next time. Farewell. Farewell. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.